Thanks for stopping by. Dan Bill, Bell here of Bell Certified. We're discussing the 102 E flowcharts and we're now discussing the 256 patent that you would like to use as a reference. The We're wondering if we can use it as a 102 E date. We look down um, and we find that let it refresh here. There it goes. Uh, we see that uh, there's no evidence of any PCT on the front of this. Uh, the only thing we see is a foreign. We see a foreign, uh, a Japanese uh, uh, application uh, that we appear. It says foreign application priority. Uh, we learn in our discussion of the nine examples that a foreign application filing date provides us no benefits under 102 E and thus this won't help us at all um, nevertheless we want to investigate further because we it's really good invalidating language for our target we want to use this as a reference we want to see what else is going on uh, so we again we go to the public pair tab which I discussed above we put in the patent number here we click patent here hit search and um, we're We'll come up with the tabs that we've already. Oops, sorry. We'll come up with the tabs here uh, for this patent, and we see that indeed we have both a publication, which is a 102 e event, and a um, a patent, which is a 102 e event. And there's also a foreign tab here. Notice this foreign tab. It's the first time I think. No, we saw it with the finish. I think that was a finished patent up above we saw it also. It doesn't help us at all. Let's just click it for fun to see what it looks like. This will just give us the date, uh, the priority date. We're going to learn later that um, this concept that the priority date is useful as the pat to the patent applicant to to backdate behind any any intervening references to, to swear behind. But it's not useful as a reference to a third party. And um, that concept is um, uh, is our is a problem for us here if we need this foreign filing date because we're trying to use it as a reference right we're trying to invalidate a target and we found the language in this patent that we want to invalidate so depending on the date this may or may not uh, hurt us we could if we if we if it were possible to get back to this day we could get all the way back to June 26 2000 but 102 e only allows us to get back to uh, a US filing date or a PCT application and only under certain conditions. There's no uh, there's no provisions in 102E or US law to get back to a foreign uh, filing date. Let's go back here in a minute and look. So it looks like our only two uh, events are these two events here and, and we'll be able to under 102E we'll be able to get back to our um, to our filing date. So our our date is going to be uh, June 21st, 2001. Hopefully that's far enough back for us. And so let's look in the tree and see where that uh, where that how we ended up at that date here. So what did we have? We had a U.S. patent, so that we're not on the you know just again. There's two flow charts. One is for WIPO publications. Clearly this is not a WIPO publication. It's uh, even if we had the foreign even if the foreign had published. Uh, which for a lot of foreign um, uh, applications around the world do publish. It's a fairly common thing for foreign, uh, for other jurisdictions to publish their pending applications even before they issue, as we do now in the U.S. But that's not what this is, right? This for that Japanese is is uh, even if it published, it's not a PCT publication. It's not a WIPO publication. So th this chart, chart two, has no relevance at all here. Um, so let's go back and see. So, but we did have a U.S. patent, and we did have a U.S. publication, right? So, um, but is there? So the first, let's look at the first issue. You know, is the reference a U.S. patent or U.S. publication? Yes, so far, uh, of an international application after national stage entry. No, it's not, right? So, so we come over to this side, and we say, is there is an internet? Is there an international application in the continuity chain? We couldn't find any evidence of that, right? So the answer is no. And so we come down here, then we go down this leg here, and so we're in leaf node one, 
Okay, and then it says the reference was filed under 111A and only claims benefit to other U.S. applications filed under 111A or B, or does not make any or, or does not make any benefit claims. It does make a benefit claim to a foreign, right? Um, let's see what else it says. But it says the the 102E date of the reference is the earliest U.S. filing date for which benefit is properly sought under 119E or 120. 119 e is for provisional 120 is for non-provisional do not consider foreign priority claims on our 119 a and that's what this was it's a foreign priority claim right and so we don't we don't consider it so so we use the u.s filing date and so we end up in 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 leaf node one and we use the u.s filing date um uh which uh for both the publication and the uh, issuance and that date is June 21st 2001 all right let's look at um, let's look at our last example here um, same thing we're searching we find per, we find the invalidating language we need it's in this patent that issued November 2nd 2010 just a few days ago we're really excited uh, we so we scroll down and we, we peek at the patent let's see what we end up with here what do we have? We have inventors, we have a assignee, we have an application number here. Nothing about PCT here, but related US patent documents. Hmm, what's this about? We have um, a PCT here. Look, it looks like a Japanese PCT in 2004. We have a February 2004 PCT application apparently uh, related to this. Um, I don't see any C124 dates. Is this a national stage? Is it not a national stage? Uh, looking, looking to me like it's just a benefit claim, but let's look into it further. We also have a foreign application that filed February 26, 2003. It looks like we had a foreign application, and then within a year of that, they filed the Japanese, I'm sorry, the PCT application, and the PCT can claim to a foreign, which this seems to have done. And then uh, about a year and a half uh, after that, uh, a U.S. application was filed. It's probably just a benefit claim rather than a national stage entry. That's what I'm guessing. And in that case, we'd have to check and see if uh, what. Since we're after the November 29, 2000 date on this PCT application, we'd want to know whether that WIPO that we're claiming benefit to was it. Uh, was well, we we're pretty sure the U.S. is designated because we see a U.S. A US patent issued and that would be required in order to have this patent that we're looking at right now issue uh, but we're wondering was it published in English um, and the other thing I would wonder also um, just for your own information going forward is it this foreign application very likely published in Japan right and it probably published a, about a year and a half after this date which um, may be on or about the same time this PCT application would publish if it did. If it did. Now remember a foreign application is, is is not available under 102E right under any circumstances but if it had an early publication date a Japanese even in the Japanese language uh, that might be the earliest date so you have to remember that when you're thinking about these sorts of things so let's go peek and see so we grab this we grab the patent number, we click up here on, on, we go to the public pair page that we've learned about, we put the patent number here, we click patent, hit search, we come down here and let's see what we have. It looks like we have a continuation. This is a benefit claim, it's not a national stage entry. Um, it looks like there is a Japanese uh, application which won't help us uh, 102E, but it might have an early publication that we'll have to check that separately. Uh, and then we're going to click on this published applications here and see what we have. We have a U.S. Uh, publication and a U.S. patent. And finally, uh, we're going to want to go now and take the. Um, we're going to want to take this this PCT number, copy it, and we're going to go up to this WIPO pub page I showed you. We're going to put the PCT number here in an application. We're going to click search, and boom, it's going to come up like this. And now we're going to peek and see what we have. Uh, let's see. We have a PCT application uh, filed uh, February 26, 2004, and we have a um, uh, we have a down here. We have the U.S. designated, and we filing language. Oh boy, uh, this is in Japanese. I'm sorry, publication language is in Japanese, right? 
So that is not going to that under the new 102e that's not going to uh, help. Um, so let's uh, so what's going to happen in this case? Let's peek at the flow chart. Uh, we're not we're not going to get to use this uh, US. I'm sorry, this PCT uh, filing date. Um, the only reason we're using it is to find out which 102e to apply. And since this is um, since this is filed. Um, Somewhere on here is the filing date. I don't see the filing date on here, but we had it over. It's probably right in front of my eyes. I'm just missing it. Uh, but we did have it. Um, oh, it's right there. Um, it's um, it's 2004, right? Well after the critical date. So we we know to apply the new version. And so let's look at the flow chart and see where this would fall in. Uh, is it a national stage entry? No, it's a benefit claim. Is there an international application in the family? Yes. Was it filed on or after this 2000? Yeah, it was filed in 2004. Was the WIPO publication of the international application in English? No. Right. So now we, we see we've come down here to leaf three and we find out that the um, um, for a patent and a US application uh oh. For a patent <laughs> and a US application publication, the 102E date is the filing date of the US application that claim benefit to the international application. So it's looking like our uh, for this one, our patent is gonna be our this is gonna be our uh, our one oh two E date is gonna be the uh, the US filing date. And so it's probably not going to help us. We're probably going to find that we have a, a our 102A date on the Japanese one down here is better. Uh, we probably go get that, and we'll have an earlier date, or um, or the publication of the of the um, of the WIPO is probably let's see, oh there I see the uh, two, 2004 it published. Um, oh there it is, publication date would be um, September 10th, 2004. Uh, under 102A and B, right? Not E, just 102A and B. So so those are the examples. Um, now this, uh, it's worth noting that this, uh, you know, under flow chart 2, right? Well, where does this fall? It's an international, it was filed after this date. Was it published in English? No, right? So it's no 102E date. Um, so <clears throat> what, what, you know, just to clarify, the one, the, the two events, are right here. The U.S. Uh, publication allows us the U.S. filing date, not the international filing date, and the U.S. patent would allow us the U.S. filing date. So that concludes our discussion of the flowcharts, and um, uh, good luck on the assignment.